from After Dark World Headquarters. This is your favorite correspondent, KD, welcoming you for another edition of The Morning Report. It's a chilly Saturday morning, early. It's very dark outside and maybe 26 degrees. So it's cold. But that's not going to stop us from getting shit done. Absolutely not. So I'm going to go to the readings. As you remember, I was reading from Michael Crichton's book, Travels, where he's in his interns or internship or however you would say it at a hospital. And he's working with a psychiatric patient. And the name of this story was The Girl Who Seduced Everybody. So let's continue a little more. He has her in the examining room and he's talking with her. I started drawing the blood. She watched the needle, watched the tubes fill. She had a calm gaze, a steady way of looking at things. Are you single? No, I'm married. You tell your wife everything you do? No. Men never do, she said laughing. It was a sarcastic, knowing laugh. My wife is in graduate school, I said. I sometimes don't see her for days at a time. Are you going to tell her about me? What goes on between you and me is confidential, I said. So she won't, so you won't tell her? No. Good. She licked her lips. The resident told me I could meet with my patient twice a week or three times a week if I felt that was necessary. I felt three times a week would be required. That was an interview room that you booked. I asked Karen, that's the lady who seduced everyone, how she came to be admitted to the hospital. She told me she had been on a bad trip on LSD in her high school dorm, in her dorm, excuse me. The campus police had brought her in, but I don't know why they made me stay here. I mean, it was no big deal, just a bad trip. I made a mental note to check with the BU campus authorities and then ask her, uh, her about her background before college. Karen spoke freely. She'd grown up in a small coastal town in Maine. Her father was a salesman. He fooled around with a lot of women and he always ignored her. Her father didn't like it when she took up with Ed just because he was a hell's angel. Her father was very angry when she became pregnant by it at 14. He made her have the baby. She gave the baby up for adoption. Her father never liked her other boyfriends either. For example, he didn't like Todd, the rich kid who made her pregnant when she was 16. He wanted her to have that baby too, but instead she had a miscarriage. She laughed. In Puerto Rico, she said... You had an abortion? Todd's rich, and he probably didn't want his father to find out, she laughed. You probably think I'm crazy. Not at all. You smoke as much as... You smoke so much when we're together, do I? Yes, you're chain-smoking. Am I making you nervous? Not that I'm aware. That's good. I don't want to make you nervous. I appreciate you helping me. She wore mini skirts all the time. She liked to curl up herself into chairs. She would wait for just the right moment, then curl her body and show me her pink underwear. I had to quickly look away, but my eyes met her again. I saw that she was laughing at me. Travels by Michael Crichton, the girl who seduced everyone. We shall continue with this. In our last reading of the morning, Letters to the Happy Hooker. This one's a doozy, as they all are. Madam Hollander, I read your book, The Happy Hooker. I am very satisfied with it, but most of all, I want to wish you happiness in your profession. 
I personally think if a person enjoys making another happy, no one should try to stop them. I've always enjoyed going with several boys at one time. Or should I say in one night? I did until I got pregnant, but by the man I loved and married. Since my husband enjoys my teaching him new positions, I would like to learn more. I think that you could teach me. I am black, 20 years old. That may seem odd to you, but I would like to be taught by you the tricks of the trade. In other words, I'm asking and begging you to teach me the way out positions you know about insects. Since the age of 12, I have committed incest, adultery, and cheated on all my boyfriends. But now I can have sex with my husband and relax and laugh about the past. But he has difficulty satisfying me. He has to use masturbation, then normal sex, or he has to force himself to continue after he climaxes in order to make me climax. And I'm a strong comer who can come 10 to 12 times a night. Please help me. Invite me to New York to really enjoy sex the way it should be. Three days is all I ask. Please. You enjoy making people happy. Madam Xavier Hollander, please make me happy sexually. Name withheld, Atlanta, Georgia. One last thing. I have inherited this album from my brother's things after he passed away. All I know about it is the name. I have heard the name somewhere. It seems like a lot of hippie nonsense to me. The few seconds I heard on YouTube kind of made me come to the conclusion maybe I might be right about that hippie nonsense, but if anybody can educate me on Ultimate Spinach, I would very much like to hear from you. I'm stuck at 42 subscribers. Will you please help me out to get to 43? 43 is a groovy number. 4 and 3 makes 7. Seven's a great number. And 43 is the new 42. So, I have to wander the earth today, all day, in adventures. Always be nice until it's time not to be nice. Be kind to animals. Discipline equals freedom. Never complain and never explain. Get shit done. You don't have to fly out of bed. You don't have to leap out of bed. You can crawl out of bed. Get on your feet, get some coffee, and you'll feel better. So, from After Dark World Headquarters, this is your favorite correspondent, KD, wishing you a wonderful day of getting adventures and getting shit done. I will see you later, everyone.